Today I'm going to swap out the stock servo on the TRX4 to the SHV650. Have you replaced the stock on your TRX4 yet? The SHV650 is the new release that is replacing the SHV500 V3. They are both extremely fast, extremely high torque servos that you can power from anywhere from 2S LiPo to 4S LiPo. This particular one has a plug to where I can actually just plug it straight into the radio. I will only be getting advantage of what is coming out of the internal BEC of my ESC though. So I believe this is probably set to either 5.5 or 6 volts. We will put it in. We're going to test that speed just to see what it looks like and then we will add our battery harness and do it at full voltage and see what it looks like so the first thing we need to do is unplug our stock servo lead pull it out and then uninstall our servo and it is pretty easy to get at these servos i guess i will take out from the other side I'll remove the stock screw first. And then the servo should just pull right out. Actually, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it on there so I can pull out the servo first and then get a straight shot at it. That'll be a little easier so we don't have to take the axle out. Let me know in the comments if you did replace your TRX4 servo, what servo did you go with? There's a lot of options out there these days. I want to know what's popular. I'm choosing the 650 in this particular one, even though it's a beast of a servo. I'm choosing it in the TRX4 because the steering is quite stout in the TRX4, and I think that it can handle it. There's a lot of rigs that it would maybe just break the link mounts, break the ball ends, especially if the ball end, if the uh, steering link is mounted in between on a rod and not having its own mount high chance that it may just break stuff but i think the trx4 is going to be able to handle it now i don't know if i'm going to be able to continue to use the stock radio because we need to have both endpoint adjustments and well endpoint adjustments at least so we don't overthrow the steering but we will see there's a chance that i may have to do something about that all right now we're gonna we're just tilting the servo sideways a little bit so that i can get at the screw that holds the servo horn in unscrew uh, that screw Take the horn off and it should just slide out with a servo. There we go. And if I do remember correctly, the stock servo uses the 25 tooth horn. So we should be able to just throw this 650 right into it. Oh yeah, it's got it's got more heft than the stock servo, that's for sure. All metal case, all metal gears, huge motor inside this guy. Let's see how the stock compares to in height. Oh, they're about the same size. I didn't realize it was such a beast of a size of a stock servo. Alrighty, and I didn't pay attention to which way our horn was facing. So it's gonna be towards me there we go and look at there it goes right in very nice and now what we shall need to do is put that horn back on the server before we bolt the servo in and that way we can actually get access and it's time working spaces There we are. Oh, 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 almost forgot. We need to boot up the servo to make sure that it is centered before we go bolting things in. That is always a good idea. So, since this guy will work, 
on an extremely low voltage. I'm just going to boot it up with this old, this old internal BEC. There we go. We're going to turn this on. We're going to plug this in. We're going to listen to our charger in the background telling us that things are charged. There we go. And I heard the servo make a big movement. So that lets me know that it was not centered. And had we installed it, it would have went who knows where. Who knows? Maybe you know. It, it would have gotten way out of whack. So we want our tires to be pointing straight forwards. I have been enjoying my ISDT chargers. I'd seen them for many years, had not ever used them. But so far, really liking them. Seem to be relatively cool running, quiet. They work without catching on fire, which is important. Very important when it comes to a battery charger. There we go, now it is installed. TRX4 is pretty easy to swap servos on. That's always nice. Although it is easier if you take the shocks off at your shock tower and just let the entire front axle fall out of the way. It is typically easier to work on. But as you can see, that is not required. Not a big deal. Last bolt, then, and then, we're gonna test out the torque just here on the bench and the speed on the internal BEC voltage, which is probably set to 5.5, maybe six volts on this Mamba Micro X. I'm gonna switch this into the proper channel. There we are. So now, throttle is throttle. We're gonna center this up. Oh, it may have been one off. Mm, it'll be straight enough. But I've got my steering trim totally locked out in one direction now. Let's see what happens. Does it, yeah, it, it makes contact. We're technically gonna need endpoint adjustment. All right, we're gonna bench test the speed on the internal BEC of the Micro X. So that is real nice. It, it's about the same stock actually. And what's the torque gonna be? <laughs> yeah, so the torque is enough to move the entire vehicle. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good for being on such low voltage. Now, easy peasy, we can install our adapter. That goes into the radio. And then battery voltage, direct. Make sure we don't plug it in backwards. There we go. Now, totally silent. A little faster than stock. Yes, I think that'll do. And how much torque does it have? Yep, oh yeah, oh that's, that's, that's just bending the knuckle. That is bending the housing. Uh, yeah, so I thought that it wouldn't be too powerful, but um, it's, you go have to be careful, I guess. Yeah, because that'll just break housing if you, if you go too far or if you get it wedged and yeah. That's only on 3S. So it'll work. Not sure how long those knuckles are gonna last, but we're gonna find out. We're all wired up, we're all bench tested, and I am ready to crawl, but that's gonna be for another video. So what I'm gonna do is clean up my wiring in the meantime, make sure that everything is good, and then we're gonna be able to go outside and test this 650 servo in the TRX4. I do thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions about it, leave it down below and I'll do my best to get to it. As always, have a good day.